let's start by adding your favorite car model into this scene. I used here my DeLorean and put this into the center of the scene. Let's add the floor, and the floor is a plane, so let's uh, use this one and change here the scale. Now we want to add a rectangle curve. You, if you don't find this in your curve settings, you have to go into the Blender add-ons and you have to select the Add Curve Extra Objects. Let's scale this one up. Change the shape to 3D and the Fill Mode to Full. And then we want to go here into the geometry, into the bevel and change the depth to something like 0.04. Let's add some geometry nodes on our rectangle. We want to use here an instance on points for this one. And we want to use a mesh line. Let's connect uh, these up here. And we want to change this to endpoints and change the end location and the count to 5. Now let's add a set material node as well. Let's create now the emission material for our rectangle and add this here into the set material node. Let's change the environment color to black. And now we can make some changes for our glow material. We need a Fresnel and a color ramp. Pipe this into the emission. And increase the emission. Don't forget to enable ambient inclusion, bloom and screen space reflections. Now we can change here the colors for uh, our rectangles. Something like bluish here. And let's change here the bevel back to 0.02. Now let's create the material for the floor. I use here a black and white texture to make uh, the roughness channel a little bit more interesting. Um, change here the tile size and uh, use a color ramp to change the reflection. Let's use the scene light to create uh, the yeah, the top light for our scene here. Let's change the position to zero and the rotation to zero as well. It's an area light and we want to change the square size a little bit. Don't forget to add some fog or some atmosphere. Let's create a cube and we want to add here a new material which is fog. Use the volume scatter and pipe this into the volume change the color to something grayish turn down the density and maybe the anisotropy up maybe let's change the reflection of the floor a little bit and we can go ahead and change here some ev settings um, let's use here some volumetric shadows and turn down the trace position, maximum roughness and edge fading. And don't forget to uh, adjust the bloom. It's a little bit too hot, so uh, it will not burn. Let's improve our reflections. First for the floor, let's use a reflection plane. Change the scale up and make the plane visible and change the distance and the fall off and adjust the plane so it will fit here to our floor after that i want to use here a reflection cube map let's change the type to box and scale this one up and now we can go into the ev settings into the into the indirect lightning and bake cube map only as you can see the reflections are much better now maybe let's change the top light a little bit to something bluish that will fit a little bit more into our scene Okay, that's our scene now. Let's try or let's see how it looks in cycles. 
and I think in cycles it looks cool as well. Let's add the camera position and let's create a little camera animation. Now let's adjust the camera here on the side of our car. Maybe let's increase the focal length and adjust it a little bit. Let's create an empty and drop down the camera into the empty. And when we are now um, turning our or rotate our empty, we have a perfect uh, cycle rotation around our car. Let's uh, make a 300 frames animation. Let's add a keyframe on frame 0 by Z value 0 and on frame 300 a keyframe which is 360 degrees so we have a perfect loop and then we want to change the interpolation mode to linear and now the camera turns perfectly around our car and now we can uh, maybe play with the focal length and change here the focal length to 50 at the beginning and in the middle to 85 and yeah, changing back to 50 again and that is a small camera animation uh, for our car now let's change the look of our whole scene with some contrast Let's uh, go with a high contrast or something which you like. And as you can see, that is our senior right now. And let's see this one and the cycles as well. So. Yeah, that was my quick tutorial for this car scene. I hope you like it. And if you want to support me, check out my Gumroad or Better Market page. See you there and bye.